In this video, we're gonna look at the candlestick pattern, the piercing line. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so candlestick patterns are potentially very powerful patterns to give us an indication where the trade may go, the market may go. And in addition to that, the most powerful thing is it allows us to quantify the risk on the trade, which for me is what I like because I can structure the trade nicely. I know what position size I've got to have. It all fits nicely. Anyway, candlesticks. If you're new to candlesticks and you've not heard of them before, go and check out another video I've done where I talk about the basics. If you understand candlesticks and you want to learn more about them, this specific piercing line, stick around for this one because this is a pretty interesting interesting pattern to look at. Right, we have uh, two candlesticks here, which are the ones we're looking at. However, the important thing is to look prior to that, we're in a downtrend. So we're down, 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 down. This is the two candles that we're looking at, candle number one, day one and day two, daily chart. And this is specifically something that is bullish. And so something we're looking to go long on, but let's look at how it's formed and how it's structured. Okay, falling down, day one, we have a good solid down move, probably on good volume, pretty much a trend day, opens at highs, closes at lows, not much of a shape of a wick, but the point is it opens in the top third, closes in the lower third, pretty classic trend day stuff, decent range on it. Day two, we then gap, um, we open below the low of the prior candlestick. So this is our open, don't forget, on our green or bullish candlestick, there's our open, and it's below the prior low. Now, some people might use the close, but I like to use the low. I like to see the low because I like to see that, hey, bears are all excited, sellers are really aggressive. They've even followed through on the open. It's gap below. And then what happens? We might get a little tiny move to the downside, but the important thing is for the day is that this thing pushes up and closes above the midpoint of, whoops, 50% of the range of day one. So there's our midpoint there, and we've closed just above it. That has given us a piercing line. Think about that in terms of supply demand. Really, we've got a lot of supply coming in, pushing it in, it follows through the next day. All of a sudden, that shifts to demand, and demand comes in, and not only does it then pop up through that low, but it closes a good chunk in there. Now, it is not as bullish as a bullish engulfing. A bullish engulfing would have a candlestick that goes all the way up, up to here. I don't want to draw it in too much, but you get the point. It basically has a high and low, and it engulfs the whole range of the prior day. So let's have a look at what this would look like, this piercing line on an intraday chart. Let me get rid of this so I can have some room to draw it. Hopefully we can just see. Right, so we've got two days that we're gonna look at here. Imagine this is our two day chart, just about fit it in there. There's day one here, which is that one. There's day two here, which is that one. So day one is pretty much like this, isn't it? We've done a little bit of movement to the high, we've pushed the low, uh, and we've closed there. Not quite as much bounce off the bottom, but you get the idea. Uh, we've closed uh, pretty much at the lows, big solid red candle. Day two, I haven't given myself any room for that one, have I? Day two, we've gapped lower underneath the low. Let me give myself a little bit more axis on that. Ah, uh, that'll do us nicely, okay. There's a low on day two. We've opened below the low on day two here. We've pushed a little bit lower, but more importantly, we've pushed all the way back up and we've closed above the midpoint of day one, which is our 50% level. Hopefully we can see that there. So 50% level, get perfect. And that's what it looks like on a two day chart. The trend day on day one to the downside, the gap below the low here, which is gonna be in tune with this one here. A little, little kiss to the downside, just sucking a few people extra in before a full reversal. And obviously we don't know what's happened. Maybe it's chopped around plenty before it's done this, but if we smoothed it out, this is what it would look like to push up, to close, up, close above that 50% level and give us that piercing line. All right, most importantly, how do we trade it? How do we make some money out of it? Okay, got a couple of options. Number one, we will buy this as we, broke, as we break above there. So there's our long, we could go long here and then we can have our stop just under here. That's a pretty good way of getting involved in it early. So we get on it nice and early, it moves up, it gives us a good chance of success on that one. Obviously we could get stopped out, but the stop is narrower so we can play with that. Or we wait until the close, we buy it on the close here, buy on the close, and we look for a day three 
or follow through to break through that high. And this is a reversal pattern as we push on even more. Obviously with all these candlesticks guys, it does depend on the structure of the days before this. If this is just in chop, don't waste your time with it. If it's in kind of some kind of uptrend that's pulled back and now we get this to, might, to maybe signify that we're pushing back on again, all aboard it, get on it, get your, get your stop structure, get it placed in the right position, buy on the close if you want, or add on the close, do on that breakthrough, have any of those two strategies, maybe even wait for a break of high, but I probably would just stick to these one or two either as it comes back through the low or on the close using your stop below that low, and then look for a further move uh, to the upside. So that's a piercing line, not quite as bullish as I say as a bullish engulfing, but worth looking for under the right conditions, nevertheless. All right, guys, thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. Don't, you, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Keep the risk managed. Goodbye.